Disney has created robot acrobats that perform high-flying stunts, sticking a perfect landing every single time. These stuntronics are autonomous, self-correcting, and remarkably human-like. So how does the technology work? Could it actually change the way Hollywood makes its blockbuster films? And what do real stunt performers think about how this could affect their profession? The Stuntronics project began with a simple Z-shaped robot called Stickman, unveiled by Disney's research team in May 2018. Stickman consists of three links connected by hinges. Its legs can fold into a tucked Z configuration or unfold into a linear shape stretching seven feet long, about the height of a human stunt performer who has his arms raised. This tucking and untucking action allows Stickman to adjust its speed of flight and perform aerial stunts, such as a single backflip and a double backflip. Stickman is launched from an elevated height like this ceiling. A quick release clamp detaches the robot from the ceiling and it flies through the air along a pendulum. To determine what its body is doing in space, the robot processes data in real time from a number of onboard sensors, a simpler version of the system used in self-driving cars. It's equipped with three laser rangefinders, which encounter the ground at different times. These laser rangefinders measure Stickman's height in midair, while a unit of accelerometers and gyroscopes measure orientation. Stickman uses this information to determine when it should tuck and untuck allowing it to make a graceful landing every time. From this stick figure prototype, Disney created the more humanoid Stuntronics, which can control their own posture, rotation, and center of mass, and can even strike dramatic superhero poses in midair. The Stuntronics were developed for Disney's themed attractions, many of which already feature human stunt performers as live entertainment. Beyond their use in theme parks, people are speculating that Stuntronics will soon play behind the scenes roles in movies, especially action and superhero movies that involve extreme stunt work. The robots could be used to test out stunts for elite stunt performers, like Bobby Hall and Hampton. Bobby is one of Hollywood's go-to stuntmen, performing as a stunt double for actors like Chris Hemsworth, Ryan Reynolds, Christian Bale, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Chris Evans. While we're rehearsing our stunts for a movie, we build up each stunt in increments. And we start slow and build it up until the final product. And it can take time, but the reason we do that and take the time is because it's the safest way to do it. So we could potentially introduce a stunt robot to test the stunt for us to a point where we think, okay, well, let's not keep beating up the human to get it right. Let's maybe use the stunt robot for a section of it. And then when we feel it's ready to plug the human in, we plug the human in. I mean, it would actually make me a lot happier if I could get a stunt robot to test up into a certain point of a stunt and then I'll just take the robot out, I'll step in and do it maybe a couple of times and we're good to go. So, I mean, it sounds good to me. Some people have voiced concern that the rapid advancement of robotics could threaten the jobs of actors and stunt performers alike. Listen, when you've got an actor like Chris Hemsworth, I don't think there's any robot out there in the world that can be as good looking as him. I think the actors are pretty safe. I certainly don't think that it's going to um, be a problem for some performers. I think you, you always need the human element of anything. And uh, even when you know you work alongside the special effects teams, they always need a human element, even if they're going to CGI that later. There's a place for everything. I think it could help both sides, special effects and us, you know. It sounds like an amazing bit of technology that could come into the film industry and, and, and enhance it. I don't think it's going to change it, but I think it could enhance it.